Hi, this is Dr. Glenn Van Ass, uh, talking about Zolar lasers, and today's topic will be gingivectomies. See in this particular case an upper second premolar, which has an abfractive lesion, and on higher magnification you can see we'd like to take the tissue and push it back. So we take the, the Zolar diode laser, it's a 400 micron, 5 millimeter tip, and we initiate it usually on the black uh, piece of, our, of uh, paper so that we can use the laser at anywhere between 0 .0, 0 0.0, 0.8 and 1.2 watts uh, to remove the soft tissue. We use a very light deft touch and we're working in short brush like strokes constantly stopping to reevaluate how our tissue is receding and, and if we're moving it slowly back. You can see that we are able to remove the tissue back and also cauterize it all in one uh, situation. And, and very quickly, in about 45 seconds, 30 to 45 seconds, we can move the tissue back. If small amounts of tissue are to be pushed back, usually <clears throat> placing the diode tip parallel to the long axis of the tooth will suffice. If larger amounts of tissue have to be removed, then we might want to attack this from a 45 degree angle to remove the soft tissue all in one uh, amount. We're looking to just expose the apical portion of the refractive lesion and then use our burrs to uh, prep the tooth. You can see here at higher magnification after the prep is done and after the laser troughing is done the preparation has been completed and here our final restorations are in place. So the laser can be used to simplify your restorative dentistry and that's the laser gingivectomy.